Okay. 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 So, let's pull this up. All the way up. All the way. There we go. So, what you have going on here is. Your rotor plus tanks, you just take two of them. And this is how they did it in India, the Appropriate Rural Technology Institute of India, RT, developed this technology. And it was very simple. They took a water tank, and it has to be a minimum of 500 liters, but it's better to do 1,000 or 2,000. And then take another tank that's slightly smaller that will fit inside. And you cut the top off of this tank, and as you can see, looking over here, this tube goes in, in an elbow and goes to the center, and that's your feeding tube. So you take a trituradora uh, of, uh, for te muele la, la comida. It's okay. for los desperdicios de la comida. It's for okay. food waste. You grind up the food waste and you pour it in the mouth of the digester. It goes inside into the throat and into the stomach. So this is the stomach of a sacred cow, a plastic cow. That's what you're building. Okay. okay. Then this tank has these holes here. You keep the top of this but you cut holes here. Why? Because when this is going up and down as it fills with gas, this will mix the food and the water together. Mm. You fill this with water up to here. Okay. And there's the spillover, if you come over here. There's a spillover here. And this is for the fertilizer that comes out after it's been digested. So the food waste goes to the bottom. The first day, you fill this with water and you put about 100 kg of horse or cow manure inside or you do what I did you take your baby's diaper waste and you scrape it in any animal manure will give the bacteria okay, yeah. so it's a good place so you let it sit there and you cover it with this and you let it ferment for two or three weeks it will start producing gas which comes out the top okay. then you light it and when it lights because in the beginning it's carbon dioxide and then you wait until it's methane when it lights you can start feeding it food but you don't feed it any food until it makes the first methane so you fill it with water and manure, let it sit, it starts bubbling, you light the bubbles, eventually they will light, and you know it's ready, and then you start feeding it ground up food waste. These are improvements that I invented, or actually a Maasai child invented in Africa when we were working with this, because in India, they weren't using these, and we wanted to feed it more food waste and get more gas. The problem is, if you feed it too much food waste, it will get an upset stomach, it will go sour, acido, and then it will die. So you can't give it so much food. So a little boy in Kenya that we were working with from the Maasai people said, what if you give the bacteria more places to live? He said, give them hotels, like the high-rise buildings that I see in Nairobi. And so he went and grabbed some pipes that were lying on the ground and said, let's put these in. So we figured that we would put them in by putting a weight on the bottom, okay. a pin on the bottom here, a plastic a pin at the top, and that way this could go up and down over these hotels okay. and the bacteria could live inside just like you use the pet in your biodigestores yeah, this no, acts as the pet it's the same thing the same thing more surface area for the bacteria food can go in bubbles can come out this is open at the top so bubbles can come out a bigger one in the center because you have a bigger hole that's a big bunch of hotels these are skyscrapers so that was our invention in 2009 and now it's come to Mexico and your own engineers are building it, which is wonderful. So that's all you have to do. Then the bubbles will gather here. This will mix as it turns. So when we put this back down on the inside. You see how he's cut this part here? These are legs so that it doesn't crush the bottom. Okay. That's, a, that's an innovation your engineer Ferdinand came up with, which is nice. This is new. And we cut the top off so that we make it short enough that it will fit. You see? And then it goes in. And this is how it looks when it has maybe 20, 30 minutes of cooking gas. When it's all the way up, it will give you one hour. Okay. When it's down to here, maybe a half an hour, 20, 30 minutes. And then as you keep using the gas, you will see. Although now the pipes are hot. So anyway, it will sink down and the gas will come out here. And the fertilizer that comes here is a beautiful liquid fertilizer yeah. for growing all of your vegetables, your fruits, your spices and herbs. The only modification I make to this is I put this now in the center with an elbow and an elbow because there's grasa in the food waste that will float to the top and we don't want to lose it because the grasa is rich with energy. So we'd rather keep the outflow here coming up so it spills when it gets high 
but the grasa stays here for the bacteria that are in those pipes. They can eat the fat, which is a lot of energy, much more gas. Okay. Every day, if you put 10 liters of food and water in here, this will rise completely up every day for the rest of your life. Okay, so we are going to have gas. Every day, every forever, day. From, your, from your previous day's kitchen garden, 24 hours. So if you have one two times this size, 1,000 liters with a 750 liter one, you'll get two hours of cooking gas on your burner every day. If you have a 2,000 liter tank with an 1,800 liter top, you'll get four hours of cooking gas every day if you feed it with two buckets of food, like 50 liters of food and water. And you can do bigger ones and bigger ones and use more and more food waste until you can power all of your electric generators, your lights, your gas refrigerator. You can run everything off of the biogas. So your food waste is your best solution for getting home energy and the fertilizer for growing all of your vegetables. You don't even need soil. You could just take a, a planter here with a vertical tower and a water pump, let this flow in, pump the water up, put the plant seeds in, and then you can just grow vertically without any soil ever again. So it doesn't matter if you're in rocky places like Yucatan or you're in the mountains or you don't need any dirt. Everywhere in the world. The only thing is you have to keep it warm enough. It needs to stay between 25 and 35 degrees Celsius, close to body temperature. If you have the sun, it's painted black, you can use a solar heater, circulate, you can use used uh, gray water, anywhere where you have hot water and circulate through, and you have perpetual energy. And it's clean, no smoke, no smell, it means no rats, no flies, no diseases. We do it. Well, I've been doing this for five years. I have, I have this in my own house in Germany. I've done it in New York. I've done it in California. I've done it in India. I've done it in Nepal. I've done it in Saudi Arabia, in Iraq, in Kurdistan, Kenya, Tanzania. I do these all over the world, and now we want to do them here. And Rotoplast is the solution because you have the tanks and the technology and the engineers and the staff and the marketing and people like you who can really explain it well and make people want to buy it and understand it, so I'm so happy to see this here. Oh yeah, this yeah. And just think about it, you would never have kitchen garbage. Every day you grind your food and you put it here and then there's no, no smell, no garbage bags to take out. 100% and you can put your toilet waste too. Only we separate them because people are like, <laughs> <laughs> And so your biodigestor that you have here is one of these, but there's no way to capture the gas. It's making gas. You're just letting it go to the air. So a combination of this and the biodigestor, you have a perfect solution for everybody, and they'll always have energy cooking, heating their water, running their electric generator. Thanks for this opportunity to explain this. Your name again is? Juliana. Juliana what? Juliana Barla. Juliana Barla. Juliana Barla, TH Colhane for Solar Cities. Thank you, Juliana. Thank you so much. At Rotoplas.